anyone up for vacation? Welcome to Cass Spotlight. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. In today's video, we're counting down the top 8 most scariest places on Earth. For this list, we're looking at the most unsettling places on the planet. These areas can be scary due to their creepy history or their unique physical appearance. Number 8. Hanging Coffins of Sagada The Hanging Coffins of Sagada are just a few of the cliffside burials around the world. The tombs in the Philippines reportedly follow an ancient funeral custom that entombs the deceased in coffin attached to rock faces or within caves in the face of cliffs. Ancient literature from the Tang Dynasty suggests the coffin's placement corresponded with status, while other say placement prevented animals from reaching the bodies and did not take off value farm space for burials. According to CNN Philippines Lifestyle, reported that Sagada people have practiced such burials for more than 2,000 years and that some of the coffins are well over a century old. Said like Oswari Kutrahora, Czech Republic. Heard of the Church of Bone? Can be found in Czech Republic. This is around 50,000 human skeletons lying in the monastery which has been deemed Holy Land as once a popular burial site. But the bones are in one huge messy heap. They are piece by piece artfully woven into chandeliers, candelabras, candle holders, and more. Similar to Bold Haze prayer flags, bones are also strung above the design dates back to 1870 when a local man was hired to take bones stored in a crypt and turn them into art. Number 6, Iya Valley in Japan a small town in Japan is quaint, but this every village in Iya Valley has just 30 residents and over 400 large dolls. Local residents Chukimi Ayano creates them in memory of the disease, and they bear a striking resemblance to their deceased human counterparts, wearing their clothes and all, which adds to the creepy factor as they silently stare at you for all the angles as you move about the town. They are not clustered in one spot, rather, they are perched fishing on the river banks, sitting at the desk in the local schools, or waiting for the bus. Number 5 Island of the Dead Dolls A trip to an island of the coast of Mexico? Sounds great, but not if it's packed with dead looking dolls. Islas de Monecas is called in Spanish. It is in the south of Mexico City. While the surrounding area is well populated, the island is largely deserted, save for hundreds of dolls hanging in the trees. Many are unclothed with eyes that move, and they said to be possessed by the spirit of a drowned girl who met her fate near the island. Legend has it that the former island caretaker began hanging dolls after he found the drawn girl and was hunted by her spirit. Number 4 Capuchin Catacombs The Capuchin Catacombs of Palermo are burial crypts in Palermo, Sicily in southern Italy. They draw visitors as a somewhat gruesome tourist attraction. The catacombs act as a cemetery to an estimated 8,000 mummies that line the walls. Some of the human remains are now skeletal, while the catacombs also hold well-preserved bodies. The last body was entered in the site in 1920. The final soul to be entered here was the benefactor of a special conversation process designed by a specialist named Salafia. Baby Rosalia Lombardo died in 1920 at the age of 2. Her body, which rests in special room of the catacombs, resembles a life-size doll, complete with eyelashes and hair. Far from being sweet or a miracle of science, she might be the most horrendous resident of all. 
the one who you just know is going to open her eyes at the moment you turn back. Luckily for all us, the good doctor Solafia died before he could pass on his preservation method. Number 2, Akudesewa Fetish Market, Togo Located in the capital city of Lumil, the Akudesiwa is the world's largest voodoo market and not for the faint of the heart. Imagine storing the stalls and coming face to face with human skull or animal head. Benin's folks Benin is said to be the birthplace of voodoo religion. Not New Orleans or Haiti run the market and believe that in order to heal or rid yourself of a curse, talismans can hook you up with the right medicines. Number 1. Parikala Sculpture Park Normally, sculptures are inspired, not scary, but the Iho Ronkonen is not your run-of-the-mill sculpture park. Named for the artist who created the 550 concrete sculpture within all human, figure in forested setting, it can appear overwhelming. As if you are being watched or maybe even judged, some sculpture even sport human teeth. Described as a reclusive artist, Rakonen died in 2010 but the forest attracts thousands of visitors each year. Thanks for watching. See you next time guys. Bye-bye.